Welcome to another De Compass 77 video and to another Come On United Manchester United. But this video, this one is not going to be easy to record. Everton 4, Manchester United 0. These are my thoughts following our last game that was at the weekend. And yeah, I'm not happy about it. Not like, you know, like most probably Manchester United fans or all Manchester United fans. Disappointed. Basically disappointed, Major League disappointed, 4-0 uh, away from home at Goodison Park. Yes, Everton are a side that can, you know, have, they have their, their qualities, but we shouldn't be, we shouldn't be, I mean, okay, it's okay to lose, but it's in the manner that we lost. And 4-0 does not flatter Everton. They could have had even 5-6, maybe 7-8. Um, we were that poor. We were definitely that poor. There were maybe small periods in the game where we had the football and, and it looked a bit positive. But in general, the performance and this game, it's one that we just want to have to learn from and move on from because it's, it's it was a very poor, poor performance. Uh, they took their first goal really well. Richard Arson, great shots, but we should be clearing that. We should be definitely clearing that. Sigurdsson's goal, someone should be blocking that. He shouldn't be that, giving that, the, that that chance to shot. We know Sigurdsson, quality player. And, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, OK, De Gea could have maybe done better with that uh, shot, but I'm not going to put too much blame on De Gea. I know I've... Because he's one of the players who's... In the past, he saved us a lot. <laughs> and I just think with De Gea, um, maybe this is for a different video about De Gea uh, and what I think should happen, but um, just quickly, I think maybe the right thing to do now is, I know this might sound with the Manchester City uh, game coming up, a uh, bit maybe not the right way to go, but I think it might be actually to give De Gea a rest. I just think, not not maybe not physically, but mentally, I think um, I think it might not be the best time uh, for him so I think yeah I think you know Romero is you know we've got Romero as well so he's, he's a good goalkeeper he's he's a decent goalkeeper he's a he has a very good run of games when he's when he's uh, been able to play so I would welcome that change but I don't think that's going to happen in the next game um, but that's what I would probably do if I was a manager but I'm not um, but yeah I mean you know Dino was for, for Everton in the game was really good he got his goal as well same, we should we shouldn't be letting that happen, and then Walcott really getting his goal and and it, you know four nil four nil is a is a result where you know you know that yeah sometimes it's four nil you've been playing well just things haven't happened you've been unlucky this one as I said Everton deserved it Everton were the better side and we've got to address a load of things now. Haven't had a lot of time. I am recording this on the 24th of uh, April, so we are going to be playing Manchester City later on. Um, but yeah, we, we're going to have to, after this game, after the Man City game, maybe after the season, just look back at this performance, at the Wolves' performance as well, uh, and just see, you know what, these kind of performances, unacceptable, um, because in both games, we're, we lost those games because our opponents were able to well we let we, basically we, we we kind of let them win in a in a way in a way um of course we didn't let them win but in a way they were just given the freedom of of the park and you know they were they were able to play the way they wanted to um not enough not enough fight not enough grit grind not enough uh, trying to get the ball back just, just you know, some of those players looked as if they were walking, walking in, in a park. You know, pedestrian. Not acceptable. Not acceptable. But I do trust the players. I trust the manager. I trust everyone there. And I believe that our next game against Manchester City will be a different story because it has to be. It has to be. And I believe it will. So even though we've lost this game, I'm still going to be positive. I'm still going to. I'm still I'm definitely a Manchester United fan. You, you know, you're, you're a fan for the good times and especially when it's not going so well, you've got to get behind the team. So yeah, come on United, Manchester United, come on.